Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to this mock PI round session of, uh, you know, I am uh, call getters and the other top B school call getters. My name is Ronak Shah and today I have uh, Mr. Rishikesh Kate on the panel and we have a candidate uh, name, uh, his name is Shashank Karora and he has got few symbiosis calls. So we are going to take his mock interview. So please watch it and you can also share your suggestion in the comment section. Yes, uh, Shashank, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Yes, so Shashank, uh, can you tell us something about yourself? Yeah, sure, sir. So my name is Shashank Arora. I belong to Matra. I have done my schooling from Matra itself only. I have started my graduation in 2016. I did my BCom uh, from Indira Gandhi National Open University. And in 2018, I started working with an online insurance service provider, PolicyBazaar.com, where I gained 1.5 years of work ex, in which I learned a lot of skills and work ethics of corporate culture. And then I started with a one, uh, one lakh monthly target and I took it to 7 lakh with achieving daily targets and monthly targets by uh, decent issuance rate because issuance rate really matters in sales. Mm -hmm. Along with it, I am a very team member spirit and I am very harmonious with the team members and my colleagues. I am always ready to help my team members along with the, the problems related to clients. And if I Are you nervous, Sashank? Are you nervous? Yeah, a little bit nervous, sir. You okay. don't need to be. Relax yourself. Do you want a cup of uh, or a glass of water? No, I'm okay. Okay. Go ahead. Continue. <clears throat> okay. So if I just talk about my hobbies, I'm a really avid traveler. I start. Uh, I travel a lot, like in McLeod Gunge. I'm. Um, I'm interested towards the ancient and sculptures related to Indian history, which is like three thousand or five thousand years old. And I have been to monasteries as well to give it a diverse perspective as well. Hmm. Okay. So Do you know Shashan... anything about the Ashokan inscriptions? Yes, sir. Uh, there are two main pillars which I uh, know. The one is in uh, Sarnath, uh, related to Buddha, and one is in MP. So, okay. Uh, so, so you know, Shashank, uh, uh, can, you, can you tell us uh, why do you want to go for MBA then? What is your reason? Yeah, sure, sir. When I started working with the Policy Bazaar in a sales domain, it incites me to uh, just go further in the same domain because uh, sales is just a sub part of marketing. And yeah, but I then you, you can definitely get a job after your graduation and you can actually grow. Why do you feel the need of having, uh, you know, education for another two more years? Actually, when I was working, I led my team there as well. When I got a chance to lead my team of seven to eight people, unofficially I was dealing with the seven to eight people there. I Shashan, this is what I'm saying. You have already done well. You have already taken sales from one leg to seven leg. Do you think the B schools are going to teach you how to take the sales from seven leg to 70 legs? No, it, you will have to do it. Right. So this is what I'm asking that since you are already doing good, you have already proven your worth and your skill set. So why do you see the need of going for MBA? So there is still a lot to learn. So the uh, consumer perspective, the market research, the branding, the, uh, the promotion strategies, price distribution, which is a core marketing field. I want to go for marketing. I have done, I have done really good in sales, but I just want to go further one step in the marketing domain. Okay. And the second thing, which is a leadership skill. Hmm. Right? I have uh, led a team of six to seven persons, but there is still a lot to learn how to manage them. Do you have you ever read about or uh, have you ever come across the different types of leaders? There are certain types of leaders. Uh, what are those? If you can just tell us. I'm not having that much idea. That's what I'm saying. That there's a lot to learn. Types of leaders, types of promotion activities. Okay, Shizan, how no question. Do you think uh, you know that uh, leadership qualities can be developed? Uh, or it can be acquired? Don't you think it's like inborn? You are a leader or you are not? Actually, everything can be learned. There's always two aspects to a thing and leadership quality can be learned with the perfect and if, with the perfect scenarios. If you just go through with the scenarios, there are multiple uh, things we can develop and we can acquire from the persons we inspire from. Okay, there are certain political leaders, right? So-called political leaders, we can't name them. But don't you mm -hmm. think, I mean, even after trying hard, they are not able to acquire that, uh, you know, leadership, particularly if you look at the leader of opposition. 
Yeah, if I just talk about the, uh, the opposition leader you are talking about, he is not into the ground level uh, uh, the work that should be done to get this leadership skills, right? If so I talk why, about there according leader, to you, why is he not able to learn that? Because he has never been into the core domain. He has never been into the public where he is working as MLA or ML, MLC, right? Where he is just learn, uh, learning the skills. He has just come up with a just a degree of uh, university from Harvard or Stanford. I don't know, but he just as a uh, coming as a like a, a supreme leader of the well-known uh, organization or the political group. For the dynasty. Okay, fine. For the dynasty, you can say. <laughs> Shashank, uh, you have done a certification from uh, certification from I am Bangalore, right? In managing yes, economics. Yes, sir. Can you explain what is uh, diminishing marginal utility? Diminishing marginal utility is a stage where after reaching to a maximum marginal utility you start diminishing after certain period of time due to multiple factors. It can be a uh, monotonous uh, utility. Tell me about utility. What do you understand by the term utility? The term utility is the uh, unit of satisfaction that we, that we are getting from a particular uh, by spending a particular amount of money. On a product, right? On a product or service. How, how that can be sector? You just said in a particular sector or so. It particularly is limited to one product. Limited to product and service, sorry. Obviously, obviously. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Shashank, let me give you a hypothetical situation. Suppose you are the last man on the planet and there are only two girls, one extremely beautiful and another very loyal. So hmm. whom will you marry? Whom will you choose as your partner? I will uh, obviously go with a loyal partner who is um, understanding and this situation oriented, not just because beauty fades down with the time. It, it is a harsh reality that we in this generation should be accepting it. But aren't we all, uh, you know, enjoying the beauty? I mean, whether it's a product or it's a human being, we like beautiful things and the people, isn't that? So beautifulness or the beauty attracts only. But in the long term, we all want quality, right? If you if you are going to purchase a single commodity or a single good, you always look for the compatibility and the longevity or the elasticity of a product, right? Mm -hmm. How long it can provide me the satisfaction or provide me the uh, use or utilize i can utilize it hmm. okay. okay i have one uh, hypothetical question for you chashank okay it's slightly different this was a very interesting question by the way okay. uh, if you have a chance okay you are let's suppose uh, you are sitting at my place for two minutes let's just assume what question will you ask yourself uh, what are your uh, goals and in short term like what why you uh, just want to go for mba which is already asked it was the main question if a, if a person is going for mba it is the first question that why you want to go, uh, join mba and how is going to help you to yourself Shashan. now this is not related to mba it could be anything you are sitting at my place i i give you a chance to ask one question to you what question would that be Uh, so actually, I just want to explore my uh, the other side of it. So I would ask, what are your other sides in a perspective of a, in a particular situation or ideology? Okay, Shishan, can you can you tell us uh, what is the difference between a businessman and an industrialist? In a businessman and industrialist, uh, have you have really you heard of these two terms? Do you agree that these two are two different things? Actually, it is a two different things because a businessman is holding a business and an industrialist is someone who is working in the industry for a long time and now uh, just leading that industry. Okay. If I just I... talk about... Yeah, give us the example. Yeah, uh, so if I just talk about Mokesh Ambani is not a businessman right now. He is leading the whole industry of the telecommunication and the other coal refining industries. Mm -hmm. He is the industrialist in the Indian sector. Mm-hmm. Businessman is something who is leading a particular business or particular set of uh, units only. Are you sure? He is working in that industry and working under the umbrella of industry. Okay. You may want to check this thing. Okay. You can definitely do it. Okay. Tell us uh, what would you do or what do you think is the key reason for poverty? Key reason for poverty is obviously education that we are not uh, providing the 
structural education sector that we need right now. I think the education policy that has recently announced by the uh, new government will, might be helping uh, helping some of the key aspects of the education sector. Mm -hmm. okay. So, what are your views on the newly introduced uh, education policy? A newly education policy gives us the flexibility to develop more and uh, new perspectives in the existing policy which was a, a rigid policy which was implementing for a long time so 60 70 years or more than that from the british period and there was no much changes in that policy so it was a much needed policy and i, I and i am just supporting the change right because we are living in a generation where the change is constant and how will that impact you you are already almost done with your education how is that going to impact you sir we are living in a society and society is directly or indirectly impacting us right and society should be also considered when we are even if i am just graduating or getting a job i should be having some responsibilities towards the society and i'm already working towards it i'm taking home decisions for the underprivileged society comes as parallel for the uh, businessman for employee so, Sam, one last career. question fine one last question yes. what is half of two plus two Half of two plus two, two. Are you sure? Just give a thought. Yes, sir. Half of two plus two. Okay, so it's a typical question and it's what must will be applying here. Exactly. Right. So, so what should be the answer? It should be three. Yeah. Okay. It also depends whether I'm putting a bracket between two plus bracket. two or not. Right? Yeah. Okay, fine. So thanks for it's coming for the interview and we wish you all the best and hope to see you on the campus soon. Thank you. Sure. That's it. Thank you so much, sir. Sashan, wonderful, Sashan. Yeah. However, Sashan, before going, uh, sir, can I just give him a small feedback? Yeah, yeah. We are we are doing it, but there are so many viewers. So I just want to pass on a message to the viewer, right? So for example, Vibor Jain is there, and Vibor, your interview is lined up, by the way. So great, you are uh, you are watching. Uh, you know what questions are we going to ask? But please understand, Vibor, your panel will be different. So don't expect the same questions. And for all others, there are some funny people sitting in the chat box and they are saying when I ask this question <laughs> I'm sorry whom will you marry <laughs> so that gentleman mentioned I'll marry both <laughs> but actually uh, you know the right answer for that question loyal or beautiful so it should have been beautiful because uh, you know the beautiful uh, woman whom will she be disloyal to there is no one you are the last man on the earth absolutely so you will get both okay. beauty and the loyalty <laughs> Right, so I mean, think when you when you are asked such question, you need to think out of the box. And this is the message to all my viewers that guys, when you are sitting in the interview, please try to think out of the box. Okay, please try to think out of the box. There was one candidate of mine before we start with the feedback, Rishikesh. I just want to share this uh, experience. So there was a candidate of mine. He shared this uh, uh, interview question that uh, that uh, was asked to him during his uh, I am interview last year. He was asked, uh, can ever manager be required to mismanage the things to, uh, you know, mismanage the things completely. So he said, yes, that are, there are lots of opportunity for mismanaging things like tariffs are there and uh, the, uh, you know, all the other, uh, you can say the bad people are there. There is complete whole lot of industry and whole lot of jobs, lots of money, right? So, I mean, you'll have to think out of the box rather than thinking conventionally. Are you getting this point everyone so yeah once again just want to tell all my viewers that uh, we have created a special group the group is t.me slash gd underscore pi please be part of this group and you can also get yourself evaluated on unacademy cat which is india's largest uh you know uh, platform for mba entrance preparation for mba aspirants so you can get complete support for another you're going to get the support for gd and pi and wat and ge for next one month our experts are there so please join this group quickly and you can also come forward to get yourself evaluated right so keep attending the sessions now talking about feedback right rushikesh go ahead and you can share your views yes sashank uh, you are a great great uh, uh, aspirant so your profile is good you have good confidence good composure but please throw us up work on the nervousness part in the beginning you're very nervous your voice started shaking okay so uh, reflect composure and confidence more uh, in the interview okay, okay. that will uh, increase your chances into getting into symbiosis rest all uh, is fine you answered really good you have good presence of mind thoda sa basics par brush up karo okay and articulate articulate your thoughts 
Okay, mm. don't just abruptly say, uh, think for one to seconds, form your uh, sentences and then express. You will do just fine, Sasha. I, I see, yes, but uh, because now we need to give them the true feedback. So based on uh, the interviews, the mock interviews that we have conducted, we have conducted almost 50 candidates mock interview in recent past, right? Shouldn't right, we be placing Shashank in top 20% of the candidate based on his performance? So Shashank, uh, though you were slightly nervous, which is very, uh, you know, uh, natural thing. And uh, of course, interviewer also appreciate that thing. They actually don't like, they don't expect Superman, honestly speaking, or Superwoman yes, for that matter. So that's perfectly fine. And accepting that, that yes, I'm nervous is uh, like the best thing you can do right because it's a big occasion for you you are uh, you know you are going for your dream college maybe when they ask such questions so you can always mention you can also mention it like this yes sir i'm a bit nervous because it's an important occasion for me because i'm sitting for my dream college matlab yeah yes, what's the uh, indirectly unka bhi thoda praise kar lete hain kya problem uh, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah a thoda sa light moment ho jata hai hai na yes sir so we can we can always do it so we can always use this kind of uh, subtle smartness or sense of humor as and when we get an opportunity and try to keep the interview atmosphere as light as possible with this kind of a uh, unharming unruly uh, quickies right yeah but we don't want to come out or project ourselves as a very over smart person kind of thing so we need to understand that line we should not be yes, crossing yes. that line right otherwise honestly speaking you answered really very well your thoughts are uh, supported by facts and figures for example uh, whether it's about poverty or uh, it's about loyalty uh, you know you justified your stand very clearly yes right so i don't see any reason why you should be rejected in some biases Okay, if they reject you, it will be a loss to them, not to you. Right? Thank, thank you, sir. Yeah, so all the best, Shashank. And uh, yeah, if required, in case if you get any more calls, we'll have one more round of interview for different colleges because, uh, you know, for other colleges, uh, the way they judge and the uh, way they evaluate you, uh, a candidate in the interview will be slightly different. So to all my viewers, keep watching all our interview sessions conducted by me, Rishke sir, Deepak sir, Harpreet ma'am, and all other are, are experts. We are doing almost four to five interview sessions and GD sessions and GE sessions throughout the day. So keep attending that and do not forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you everyone. And we'll bye. once again be back in some time with another interview. Till then, bye-bye. And yes, all the best, Shashank. See you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much.